how could three be one? It doesn't make sense. Uh, yes, actually, it does make sense. Uh, it is logical. Certainly, it's difficult to understand, but it is logical. Take, for example, uh, the most simple illustration that is undeniable uh, and irrefutable, by the way, uh, and irrefutable, by the way. Yeah, my name is Eric. This is 29 Acacia Road. And this is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an amazing double life. But when Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is Banana Man. Yes, Eric, welcome to and our program. Okay, I have a couple of questions about the Bible. About the Bible. Well, we're always ready to talk about the Bible. Go ahead, Eric. All right. Um, in... In the Bible, it says that Jesus went a little further, fell down on his face, and prayed. Who is he praying to? Jesus uh, is praying to God the Father. Of course, as a Christian, we believe that God is one, and yet he's also three. This is the doctrine of the Trinity. Don't get what you're saying here, Patrick. Okay. Uh, so we believe, I believe, and uh, Orthodox Christianity believes that God is one spirit, Yet he's eternally yeah. existing in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So Jesus the Son, who is God, yeah. is praying to God the Father. That's what we believe. Yeah, but if you, we believe that he's God. So but how can God be praying to God? I, how could three be one? It doesn't make sense. Don't get what you're saying here, Patrick. Not picking up what you're laying down here, Patrick. Could you use an analogy, Patrick? Uh, the most simple illustration that is undeniable uh, and irrefutable, by the way, uh, a triangle. Yeah. If you take one triangle, yeah. equilateral triangle, it has three sides. Each side is distinct yeah. from the other, and yet there's only All one right. triangle. Uh, a triangle. Yeah. If you take one triangle, yeah. equilateral triangle, it has three sides. Each side is distinct yeah. from the other, and yet there's only right. one triangle. Partialism, a heresy which asserts that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are not distinct persons of the Godhead, but are different parts of God, each composing one-third of the divine. Uh, yes, actually, it does make sense. Uh, it is logical. Certainly, it's difficult to understand. So that is, it is not, the Trinity is not a logical inconsistency. It is difficult to understand. And so when I came to the very interesting Moody Bible Institute doctrinal statement, I was surprised and somewhat shocked to find them saying, God is a person who revealed himself as a Trinity in unity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Three persons, and yet one God. I'll read that again. God is a person, three persons, and yet one God. This does not propose anything to our minds that makes any sense at all. It's entirely incoherent. One person cannot be three persons. But you know, the Athanasian Creed that was recited week by week in church for centuries simply says that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, the Holy Spirit is Almighty, but this is not three Almighties, which leaves the human brain in a fog. It's no better than saying this is a chair, that's also a chair, and that's another chair, but it's really one chair. We are not talking coherent language. And I'm reminded of the famous statement of a Dr. Hay, who lectured at Cambridge on the Trinity, and he said, we must be always industrious to say that our trinity is completely incoherent and completely unintelligible. It makes no sense at a basic 
language level. And therefore it leaves the brain in a fog and communicates nothing. Is that the concept of the Trinity only came up after Christians already accepted the deity of Jesus. It was an effort, a philosophical effort, to justify something they believed already, an absurdity they believed already. To believe a man is God, they had to come up with an idea of the Trinity. It wasn't that they first came up with an idea of the Trinity and that they said, oh, Jesus is the one that fits into the Trinity. Before Jesus came to the world, no one thought of the Trinity. So the Trinity is a, a, an excuse for idolatry.